All right, you guys, Supreme Comment here, and today we'll be taking a look at the Figurize Standards Mione Rembrandt here. So we do have the full kit completed. Um, I did not apply any sticker yet or paint anything whatsoever because I do want to do the review first before I paint it because uh, I don't want to be touching all over the kit and then have you know things get mixed, messed up. But um, other than that, as far as the unpainted version, she is already you know very accurate. Um, I would say I don't think there's anything that is needed except for like a few exceptions like the um like the school emblem that goes right here so other than that i think everything else should be fairly good straight straight build no problem here like a quick back view before we hop over to the actual articulation uh in terms of the articulation i think it's uh, really good right so starting off with the head you can get a 360 degree spin um popping off like that but you can not that bad uh for movement, you can go just like that. So here's a side view for you guys. So pretty good, not bad at all. Side articulation, you can do tilt like that. You can actually go further if you want, but I think that will look really weird. I, I don't know, but yeah, you can do that. All right, coming down to the torso. The torso does have one point movement. That is from the upper and lower. So you have this, right? This. So it's pretty much a good, you know, a, on a ball joint. So you can do that. Really good. As far as the arms, you can get them rotated. So you will have to kind of pop out just a little bit, right? Because it is on a ball joint. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is on a ball joint. And then you guys can just kind of rotate that 360 degrees. No problem. The arm can swing out like that, but it will kind of bump into that red piece right there. So not really something i want you guys to be doing you can't really rotate this and that so that is the limitation as far as the bend herself so she does have one point bent movement so it's gonna go like this so it looks like there's not a whole lot because of this piece right there but other than that you guys can see that it is actually a little bit more than 90 degrees so that's actually pretty good so coming down to the um, hand section now so you guys can see that this is one of the three that we are getting so I'll show you guys just a little bit of the other ones that we have so you can get a quite you know just a full spin like that and this one depending on where this is positioned you can do this right so you can kind of get a movement like that or swing backward if you want so it really depends on what kind of pose you're looking at but you do have great movement right there as far as the waist, there are no waist movements, so you can't really swing that. But um, other than that, that goes towards like the leg section now, where you can do this, just for depending on the pose, obviously. So you do not have like a spin from the kind of like the torso towards the leg, so you can't really do that except for this this section right here. So you can do that. So not bad. Uh, as far as the front kick, pretty good. I guess a full kick back kick I don't think there's a whole lot it's, it's kind of weird so uh, side to side you can't really get a full split unfortunately uh, as far as the bend herself she can get more than a 90 degree so that's really good and then coming down to her actual feet she can spin from here to here so just like that no problem her actual heels can go this far, uh, but this piece right here on mine for whatever reason is kind of loose, so I don't know if that is experiencing on you guys's, but maybe this is a piece that might have to glue eventually, but you can also swing back this far, so pretty good. And then you also do have one more point of movement from right here, so this one is more depending on how you want to pose it, on, on like the ground, whatever, just get a better stability, but other than that, she just, whoops, that comes right off, yeah, really loose, but other than that, she does have very great movement, as you guys can see, uh, but other than that, let's actually move over now to her other accessories. Okay, so these are all the other accessories that it comes with, it comes with the action base, which I did already hope. Um, we only onto the action base already. Two additional faces, uh, two additional pairs of uh, interchangeable hands, and then we also do have her gardening tools. So let's kind of start things out with the other two phases. 
So one of them you can say is kind of like a upset face and the other one is more like a smiley face I guess in a way. So in terms of the decals that I choose from, I choose these two. Um, I guess I just want one that looks on the right, one on the left. I guess I do, we do have one that looks straight at you already so why not give it these two. Uh, some of the other one that you can choose from from the various one are swallow so not bad they actually give you a various selection to choose from and what's great about these uh, they actually give you one additional one so this is the one that, that I use that I can still use another one if you know the one that I was working on messed up so that's pretty good um, as far as the hands that uh, we have the open palm one as so well. we have the fist one that is uh, already attached and then we also have these one, these are more for like gripping the tools. So in terms of how you want to grip them um, in the instruction, they want you to remove this piece first, like so. Just kind of slide it on like that, no problem. And then you can just attach it to uh, Mione herself. As far as the actual, what is this one, like a shuffle? <laughs> you just grab them like that. So this one is really secure, I guess, right? Just like that. And then in terms of going back to this, you just swap it, whoops. Oh, you actually do remove the whole thing, yeah. That's right. You would remove the whole thing like this. So, can I, can I pick it up? I guess not the other one, that one is kind of tight. So we'll just do this one for now. You can do this. And let's actually give it the open palm. How about that? Where is it at? You can do this. Ta -da. So you can have both. Uh, as far as the face, let's actually remove the head. So I'm just gonna give you guys one. Let's try one. So pop this, like her head piece like this. And then you wanna pop this one out. It's not that tight of a connection. So because they know that people might be swapping pretty frequently, but we just wanna get the right uh, angle and pop. Uh, let's actually just do one of them, it doesn't really matter, it slides back on like so, right? Let's see, perfect. And then put in her other um, head here back, and bam, and there you go. So swap that, not bad, pop it back on, and we are done. And then it's like she's looking at you, <laughs> yeah, just like that. Um, other than that, I think that is pretty much it as far as the um, other accessories so not bad the articulation is actually pretty good all right you can move it higher if you want so that's actually pretty good all right so now for the conclusion or you can say the pros and cons uh, i think the pros is definitely how great the model kit itself look uh, I, I think it, it's definitely a very good representation of how it is in anime so that that is really good because when i first look at the face sculpture i was like man this is really detailed it and just you know exactly how it is from anime so that's why i was like that's a definitely a big thumbs up already and uh in terms of the accessory definitely great a selection of them you know with the different you know not not a whole lot of like you know um hands to really choose them but it's still a good amount that you can kind of swap in between to make your poses and whatnot uh the gardening tools is definitely not a bad um idea to toss in there but i i, I guess maybe maybe also toss in a tomato how, how about that um other than that i think the last pros that I have to give is definitely how solid the kit overall is. Uh, I don't think there's anything to lose up to, you know, making a few poses. It might be loose, obviously, because plastic, as you play with more, it will just get loose, obviously. Um, so now in terms of the cons, I think it's just, you know, how pricey this kit can be. Um, I think in terms of the standardized figure, they could probably range anywhere from 30 to 50. I got my pretty much on like a higher end price at a $48 because I didn't really get it like, you know, on Amazon thing right now is on sale, I, I, I believe last time I checked um, I got my to kind of like a local hobby shop so they they definitely jacked up the price just a little bit but um, other than that you know if you can get anywhere from between 30 to 40 
forty dollars. I think that would be great. Uh, the other one is definitely I would say the water size decals for the eyes. For some reason, they don't really stay too much just because of the surface itself is not flat. So that could be a problem. But other than that, I don't really find too many problems with the overall kit itself. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you guys. But do definitely know how you guys feel about the overall kit. And I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.